Hi, uh, this video is just to talk about some examples of learning and communication opportunities that you could create related to kind of pet or animal care. Uh, it's definitely something that we want to think about teaching our learners or really all kids to be safe around family pets or others pets or just animals in general. And so this lesson comes with a couple free things. The first one is a set of pictures. These are two inch pictures. Most of these are from our Picks for Packs and there's some different family pet type animals on here, as well as verbs like play and things like dog leash, feed the pet, um, walk, pet food, brush the pet, things like that. Um, and then these lessons also come with a lesson plan uh, or kind of activity plan. This has some links to some websites outside of Pyramid with the related to pet care and animals. And then also some just different ideas for some potential requests and comments that you could do for speaker lessons, um, receptive directions you could practice, critical skills, and other learning opportunities you could do related to um, to pet can or animal care, um, or just, you know, whether this is at home or school, just something to kind of think about. So at the house that I live at, we have some cats. And so there are some different activities and things that I think the kids, you know, could help out with, or you could kind of even teach in school, even if this was something that a kid had at home. I know related to a cat, um, there is obviously helping out with the litter box and um, taking that out. And then also uh, our pets, we need to refill the water or the food. Our cats have a couple of different types of bowls and actually even different type of food. So um, potentially things like if you have kids that are learning to open cans um, or scoop out, use a spoon or some utensils, um, when the cats get dry food, they have a little scoop in here. So maybe one of the family jobs could be scooping the pet food out. And then I know a lot of, um, our cats really love getting treats. Usually when I shake this, I was thinking about attributes. Um, there's a hard versus a soft treat. So different types of treats or even like the brand, if there's a particular type that the kid likes to give. And so these are some things that you could teach. So um, this is one of the cats at the house that I live at. And um, I often ask my roommate, hey, can I give the cats a treat or have they had a treat today? Because we don't want them to have too many. Um, but definitely, I think a lesson and uh, something that I ask on a pretty regular basis um, because it's preferred to me to be able to give them a little bit of a treat. So we always want you guys just to think about there's lots of different learning app communication opportunities that can happen away from the table and in lessons, you know, including things like caring for a pet or getting comfortable with animals. I know some schools we work with have dogs that come in for um, therapy type sessions and maybe you could practice petting the dog, brushing the dog, taking the dog for a walk, following directions like stop, maybe even trying to give um, a dog particular directions um, or the animal and depending on the type of pet that you might have around, it might be different skills or things that you might want to teach. I know we have classrooms that have fish tanks in them um, or different things like that. So uh, you can have a lot of fun with your kids away from the table and we always want you thinking about those functional learning and um, communication opportunities. So thanks.